Here we are at Costco. You gotta go in and check out your organic items. Let's see if we can find uh, how many organic items we can find in Costco. Food items that are 100% USDA certified organic. And then let's also check out how many items they have that are keto friendly that are organic. Uh, I'm gonna guess 30, but let's see. What do you think? Do I need a new TV? Is that organic? Is that an organic TV? I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to swing that by my wife. Here we are at Costco. In the meat section, meat and dairy. I'm seeing green. The one thing I like about Costco is I like the green stickers indicating organic. Only found one or two items before. It was chicken that was natural, supposedly, that wasn't really certified organic when they had a green sticker. So that helps you identify organic at Costco. So we're in the meat and dairy section. We're gonna go ahead and go, and we're gonna go check out, let's go check out this. Let's go check out what's over here in the meat section. I have a feeling it's the three pack of ground beef. It's organic, doesn't mean it's humanely raised. All it means is it's organic. Doesn't mean grass fed for sure. Let's take a look. Okay, it's ground beef, it's 21.44 ounces, so that's uh, 1.34 pounds per package, three packs, $20, that makes it four ninety eight a pound, certified organic. Looks like we got some certified organic, fresh organic, boneless, skinless chicken breast, four ninety nine dollars a pound. Um, Again, this is Kirkland label. I didn't say that on the ground beef, but it, but it was. So here we go. Skinless. If you're keto, you really want some fat. So the skinless isn't great for that, but um, it is sort of fried organic again, which would generally mean. Let's check this out. No. No hormones. No added steroids. No antibiotics. No preservatives because it's certified organic. So. Um, I don't see the cert. Oh, there we go. Certified organic, right there. So you're not going to get necessarily humanely raised, which this could all be crowded in a cage. I don't know, unless Costco tells us. I don't know, but I guarantee you, if it was pasture raised, farm raised, uh, pasture raised, they would be advertising it and getting a higher markup. So. Um, Certified organic, organic, boneless, skinless chicken breast at Costco. That's item number two. Excuse me. Here we go. Ground turkey. Organic ground turkey. Same price. Same price as a chicken. Certified organic. Again, because it's certified organic, it's not going to have, it's going to say, usually um, that it's this one does say humaneheartland.org so there you go look at that humaneheartland.org so this may be more humanely raised than the previous one Mer American Humane Certified there you go right there so organic and humanely raised turkey at Costco Now for comparison, here's some Butterball All Natural Lean. It says no artificial ingredients, no added hormones, no added steroids. I have a problem problem with these farmers and these companies putting no artificial ingredients, but then they want to test to no antibiotics. Uh, I consider an antibiotic an artificial ingredient. Um, so that's my personal opinion, um, but. I would not consider this, even though all natural, I, one of my pet peeves is this all natural usage, but yet they want to test to no 
antibiotics. So, so what? No, no hormones because I don't even think it's allowed with poultry. So, it might be. I know with pork, I don't think it is. Um, so, sometimes it'll say. No, I don't see. I don't see anything about whether it's allowed to be on the statement uh, as far as no hormones. Hormones. Organic chicken, no antibiotics, no hormones, vegetarian fed, which means they don't feed them their own chicken meat. Uh, organic, here we go, drumsticks, whole chickens. If you want to know in Austin how much they're charging, $1.99 a pound for the whole chicken. Drumsticks, uh, $1.79 a pound. And then over here for the tenderloins, which is thigh meat and whatnot, uh, $4.99. Ooh. And then over here, party wings, $2.59 a pound. And then here we go, thigh meat, $3.99 a pound. So, plenty of organic chicken in Austin, Texas. At Costco. Let's see if we can spot any more green tags. There you go. There's one. Let's go check this out and see what it is. Now, seafood uh, needs to be wild caught, but in the United States, they're not. Unless something's changed in the last year or so, they're not certifying organic seafood. So, it needs to be wild caught. We, I do not believe in eating this Atlantic salmon. Uh, they call it Atlantic. It should be legal, in my opinion, to call something Atlantic that's farm-raised. That's farm-raised salmon. They call it Atlantic. To me, that's a purposeful uh, mislabel, but the government allows it. Um, I'm sure some uh, lobbyist in Washington convinced Congress to allow that. Um, organic polenta. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but... There you go. You can see the certifying agency on this one. Oregon Till. Organic polenta. Cornmeal cooked with organic cream. Looks good. Unfortunately, uh, I'm on keto and looks too good. Okay. Chicken meatballs. There you go. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many we had. One. Four, five, six items already. Seven, eight. So here we go. Let's keep going. We got those over there. Those, those are chicken. We had at least thigh meat, drumsticks, party wings. That's three. Uh, on the end there, breast meat, whole chickens. Four, five, turkey. Six, plus the beef. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We're at item number, I think this is 10, Kamichi. Organic firm tofu. Now, I don't believe in eating soy, so this is not for me. But uh, probiotics and fermenting, fermented food and vegetables are great for your probiotics and prebiotics so there you go uh, I don't believe in tofu for myself and my family because I don't believe in eating soy but let's go over here see what we got cheese organic creamery slice cold with jack if you can get grass fed organic that's perfect the vitamin K in it uh, grass fed is the best, but this, this is not grass fed, but it's hard to find grass fed dairy products. Here's a, I think number 11, uncured salami. Here we go. Another meat item down here. 
organic herb turkey, An organic chicken breast, turkey breast, sorry, organic turkey breast. There's another two items, and that cheese back there, there's three of them as well. And then it looks like over here we got, we got one item, we're going to chase it down, I think it's fatter cheese. There we go. Perry's tom tomato basil looks delicious. Uh, for those keto minded people, let's check and see how many carbs we got here. Let's see. Creamy tomato basil sounds great. Let's check this out. Total carbs 20 carbs per serving, and that's 190 calories if you're on keto. 11 grams of fat, 4.5 saturated, no trans. Only one fiber in the carb, so we got 19, whew, 14 sugars. Not for me and keto, but if you're only looking for organic, looks good. All those protein items look good for keto, with the exception of the fact they don't have a lot of fat, but skinless chicken breast and whatnot, but it's still good for. Let's check out the protein bars. So it looks like we've got uh, total carbs 26 for one bar. Not going to work for keto, but it might work for my kids and for protein, organic, organic hummus, singles. We've had this plenty of times in our house. Kids like it. I prefer the larger hummus instead of the small packs for waste. And, um, you know, it snapped the lid on the larger ones. Um, so, take a look on hummus for car for keto. Keto. Total carbs 11. Serving size one container. 11 carbs. Not very good for keto, but great for health. Hummus. Uh, good for. Good if you're looking for foods to feed your kids that are uh, organic. Here we go. I see some. We we bought these at our house. Oh no, we didn't. Chicken burgers, kale and mozzarella, organic charbroiled chicken burgers. Here we go. Let's check. Oops. Oh, oh no. Not packaged very well. Uh, I got chicken falling everywhere. Oh, nice. Could I see the back of that? That's what I was trying to see. Thanks. No worries. Carbs, four carbs per serving, and uh, eight grams of fat, one gram of sugar, not bad. Uh, got some kale and mozzarella cheese. I'd say. That's a star item for keto. I'm going to try that. Organic love beets. Organic. I have a feeling these are not going to be good for keto because of the sugar in beets. Let's see. I might be right. Total carbs, 10. Serving size 3 ounce, 3.3 ounces, carbs 10, 6 sugars. So not good for keto, but great if you want beets and or if you want organic. So uh, there you go. Broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken. I think I've had this before.
Here we go. Five grams of carbs, only one sugar per serving, which is five ounces. Not bad. This could be good for keto. We'll give this a thumbs up for keto. Organic Ventura Ranch, organic chicken parmesan. Total carbs, 37 point. 37 grams. I'd say no go. Should have done with the pasta. I was hoping with the cheese. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Parmesan with pasta. That was five cheese tortellini. I was on, off. That's not even organic. Uh, it's underneath the sign. This should be here. Not that. So they threw me off. But here we go. 13 grams of carbs, two sugars. So, one fiber, so 12 grams of carbs, net, uh, I'd say no go, for keto. And then over here we got the chicken mozzarella ravioli, don't expect this to be... a fit for keto, nope, 26 carbs, but hey, organic, you're looking for organic for your kids. And here we go. Oh, I saw the crab meat. I should have known. I already talked about it. You can't do uh, organic crab meat or seafood. Here's some. Out of San Antonio. I've checked this out before. We've had it. My family. $8.99 a pound. Jalapeno. No. Regular organic. They have uh, jalapenos not organic. And then this one is uh, organic. There you go. And it's okay for keto, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look. One gram of carbs per serving. Um, no sugar. So, there you go. Great keto. Fresh, never frozen. Some cheese ravioli. Organic yellow onions. Okay for keto, not too many of them. Uh, if you're really hardcore, maybe not. If you want only leafy greens, but I throw those in once in a while, they're good. Uh, organic produce at Costco. Guacamole, organic home style, holy guacamole. By the way, this is the end of February, almost March 2019. We've also got organic garden fresh southwest salsa. We're in Texas, y'all. We're in Texas, y'all. Organic Gold kiwi looks good. Not necessarily for keto, but let's finish up over here on the produce outside of the cold room. Organic potatoes, organic sweet potatoes. There we go. Then we got some organic bananas. Pitted dates. Keep going. Then we see this outside the produce room. Then we have this big produce room. So let's uh, count these items here. Cucumbers, English cucumbers, $5.99 a pound. It's a free ad for Costco today. There we go. Look at that. They are not paying me for this video. This is for you. Green beans. Let me get these. Uh, French green beans. And snip the green beans. Oh, both of those look good. And 
organic squash. I bought this before. It's a combination of zucchini and yellow squash. Uh, you get some of both. I didn't find the yellow to be that tasty. I love yellow squash. It's not super good. You know, it's okay. Uh, but I didn't find it to have that much taste. But that might have just been the one I had. Organic doesn't always mean more nutritious or tasty. Organic zucchini noodles. There you go. Organic Brussels sprouts. Another two, two items. Let's go to the big room. Let's go to the big room. Clam shell, two pounds. Strawberries. Ooh, nine ninety nine a pound. That's five bucks a pound. Blueberries, six ninety nine a pound. Uh, there you go. Coconut water. Down here. Old House Farms Organic Carrot Juice. There you go. Buddha Organic Juice Zen Variety. Never had that, but it's organic. Ginger and turmeric shots. Got to be good for you. Fuja Organic Mighty Dozen. I have had this. This is pretty good for greenies. Super Juice, not good for keto but very tasty, good for kids. Uh, very high auric value, the acai of the berry. That's why it became so popular with, can't remember the name of the MLM. Car carbs on this suja juice, 15 carbs per serving, that's pretty high. Probably added sugar, let's check it out. Uh, ingredients. Apple juice. Um, spearmint tea, lemon. I don't see. I don't see any added. It's just the sugars, the carbs from the from the juice, as far as I can see. Unless you're catching something I'm not seeing, I don't see any added sugar. So, apple juice, celery juice, lemon juice, cucumber juice, greens juice. Um, so yeah. Um, Got some sugar, 11 grams of sugar, but I think it's all coming from the juice, so maybe thumbs up on that. Uh, here are the Daily Greens. These are these people are out of Austin. I've had these. These are great. Uh, you can check out the, the carb count if you want. Carbs, 9. Carbs, 11. Carbs, 22. Whoa! Got to give that to the, to the kids. Okay, kombucha, not bad, that's a lot of, a lot of product there, 8, 16 ounces, imagine if that was two dollars a bottle, that's 16 bucks each, that's less than two bucks each, oh, there you go, $1.74 each, another one, another organic one, holy kombucha, and this one's two fifty almost per each, uh, but they're a little bit larger, I believe. 16.9 ounce. Never tried these. Uh, here we get a Synergy Kombucha Trilogy. $1.45 per each, 16 ounce. Pineapple Peach Kombucha. Eight cents per ounce. They didn't do this one uh, on it per each. But this looks like it's a little more like dollar fifty or something, what eight dollars divided by six, so um not sure what that math is. It says organic, I don't I don't see the logo there. What? Oh there it is. Had these before. Organic Brussels sprouts. We saw those outside. This this is just bulk storage, but down here Organic mushrooms, big, large, 24 ounces for $4.99. I love those with some onions and some steak. Whew, nice. Go back over here. I miss, oh, here's the other pack of onions, $5.99, different style. These are the uh, Baby Bellas, whole Monterey mushrooms, organic. And these over here that we just saw, these were the premium large white. 
Uh, I've checked these out for keto. I don't remember the carbs exactly. Let's see if it's on here. Um, carb, three grams per serving. A serving size, five medium mushrooms. So, yeah, these are, these are okay. Better than the onions, I think. So let's keep going. We got organic broccoli right here. Cherry, organic cherry almond blue salad kit. Organic spring mix. Power greens. Then back over here, the sliced apples. Baby spinach. Organic raspberries. They look good. Not 12 ounces for 10 bucks. That's not cheap. A uh, couple more items in here. Strawberries. We saw these on the way in. Peeled carrots. There we go. Organic carrots. Bulk. These are great for juicing and just to eat. 849 for that big thing. Can you imagine? I can't. Can't imagine being an organic farmer and selling that much product for only eight bucks. Organic romaine hearts, these are good. We've had these six count, four ninety-nine. I'm not gonna beat that very often. Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that. How much salad can you make with that for five bucks? Nice. Nice. Three these I don't know why they do this Disney brand. It's crazy. I wouldn't pay for licensing, I guess some kids. People buy for their kids because of the label. Um, five and a half pounds here for ten forty-nine. Five and a half for ten ninety-nine. All of these are organic. Nice apples. You definitely want apples. You definitely want to be buying organic apples. You don't want to buy non-organic apples. In my opinion, why would you want to do that when it's one of the most toxic? Sprayed items, apples, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Always get those organic. There you go. Cauliflower, great keto. These are the packets. So you buy this and then you've got a packet. It's almost like a rice packet. It's rice cauliflower. Great. If you uh, want to get off your carbs, I mean, uh, I find it very, I make gumbo with it. It's awesome. What did I miss? See any green stickers over there? I don't see any. I got all those over there. Nope. I think we're good. Let's go down this frozen aisle. We got Happy Valley. Happy Village Organic Park Sweet Cherries. Healthy Organic Cherries. Smoothie blend. Look at that. All these superfoods. Strawberries, raspberries, spinach, bananas, kale, blueberries. 366 per pound. Uh, most of the time, frozen produce is actually sometimes not. I won't say all the time, but oftentimes more nutritious than fresh. What you think is fresh produce? Fresh produce ripens. Okay, so here we are, finishing up at Costco. We, uh, I think we've already gotten these organic cocoa, coconut water. I don't know if it's the same size. I have to go back and check. If it is, then we won't count this one twice. Uh, but we have this, uh, definitely have this uh, organic coconut water, this brand. Uh, well, you know what? This is a B pack. No, that's the one thing I don't like about what Costco does is they... Um, they tend to put non-organic items beside organic items. Sort of tricks you. So I don't like that. Um, I don't know what they're doing here. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, there's two sizes. So we probably have the large one. Don't have the small one. Two sizes go from the water. So here's the other one. Then uh, here's, here's the cherries we already got. And then this smoothie blend. Uh, super smoothie. We got this. 
and uh, but we didn't get these frozen strawberries, uh, so I don't know why they're organic strawberries right there. Yep. Uh, don't see a oh there there's the are no, green green uh, card there. Okay, so there we go. Let's uh, there's that item, and then here we go with the organic pineapple. Uh, organic pineapple, if my count's correct, we were at 70 items. We added the strawberries and pineapple. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be, uh, uh, 72 avocado chunks, uh, three pounds, it's 10 bucks, that's three dollars a pound, not bad, but, um, these are not organic, so I can't count them, but, uh, if you follow EWG site for the Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen, avocados are on the Clean 15, so not a lot of pesticides get through, although we believe in 100% organic when possible. Here we go. Uh, blueberries, organic wild blueberries, wild it says, and they're organic. So, and then here we go, mango chunks. Oh, I can't wait to get off this. Take a break from the keto and have more sugar in my fruit. Uh, lots and lots of organic fruit for the kids. And as I mentioned earlier, lots of times the uh, the frozen fruit is even more nutritious than pr fresh because it ripens before they freeze it uh, on the vine or on the plant or whatever it is. Uh, and Adamani, I believe Adamani is soy. I'm going to check. Yep. Young soybeans and pods. See that right there? And I'm not a believer in soy, but uh, for those who want it, my wife loves edamame, but uh, I like it with salt, that's great, but uh, soy's got some things, chemicals in it that I don't believe are that great, but that's not for this video. And then root me medley, golden beets, parsnips, purple carrots, sweet potatoes. So there you go, you got edamame, root medley, there you go, right there. And then we'll move on over and we'll get the whole green beans, whole green beans right here. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items since we left off. Let's move on down. I think we left off here at the uh, green beans. It's eight items, Brussels sprouts frozen, organic green peas, right here, so that's seven, eight, nine, mixed vegetables, ten, so we should be at about 80 items in Costco so far, I cannot believe it, I never, I, I knew that the selection was huge and we bought tons here, but I would not have guessed it was already at 80 and I'm not even through the frozen section. Uh, this looks good. Turkey sausage breakfast bowl. It's just not organic. Well, it does look good, but be great. Uh, you can just have that and mix it with a, and make your own uh, uh, tortillas or breakfast tacos. And, uh, kolaches right there too, but they're not organic. So still cut oatmeal. That's eleven. Let's move on down. I see a sticker up here. That's 12 on this row. Oh, organic fudge bars. If I weren't taking so long, I'd grab some for my kids. They love these things. Uh, I don't know if they've had this particular one, but organic fudge bars. What kid wouldn't like that? Okay, that's 12 items. Move it on. Searching for green stickers. Stickers! This is not human food, so this is a bonus item. Dog food, we buy this, although dry dog food is not very nutritious, organic or not, and if it's not organic, no telling what's in it, glyphosate and everything else. Uh, we believe in grain-free and organic, and then we add other supplements to make it healthy. That's a separate video. Uh, subscribe so you can make sure you catch that. But this is a chicken and pea formula for dogs, and this is, I believe this is uh, grain-free. See that? Grain free. Dogs weren't meant, meant to eat grain, okay? I, I, in another video, we'll talk about whether humans were. So, there you go.
organic. Add something. Let's go up there. I don't see any, 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 any green right there. So we're going to move on around. I think maybe they moved them all. I don't know. To that row over there. See, dog food, not organic, not organic, not organic. I knew we'd catch this organic eggs over there. We'll catch those on the way back up. My wife and my younger son love these things. Breakfast burritos, organic. Okay, so that's one on this aisle. Let's uh, move on up and see what we find. Here we go, Amy's organic vegetable lasagna. That looks pretty good. No meat. I like meat. But you're vegetarian or you want something lighter. So that's two on this aisle. I'm gonna swing over here. Organic cold brew. Black coffee. That's three. Then we'll head back down here to catch these eggs. Let's see what else we catch. So mozzarella strings. Oh, these are good. These are really good. Uh, we eat these good for keto. Mozzarella string sticks and then hard, hard boiled eggs. They're organic, so I guess they're okay, but uh, you want them. Can't have too many chemicals to preserve them if. Uh, um, hey, there's me in the reflection. Uh, no extra charge for that. So. Another couple of items. I think this is six total on both sides of the aisle. Organic, cage-free eggs. Keep in mind, cage-free and pasture-raised are not the same thing. Uh, we get these sometimes. It's a good price for organic, but these are not pasture-raised. Pasture-raised is going to include some insects in the diet, and it's going to be better. Here we go. I'm not a soy fan, but soy vanilla non-dairy beverage there you go here's another item almond vanilla uh, we've started only getting I try to only get not 100% of the time but if it's not refrigerated then you know it's probably been heated and pasteurized to the point is it really even nutritious so we try to get refrigerated drinks uh, on almond milk we're, we're off the dairy milk mostly 99 95% of the time uh, our dairy comes in cheese right now I'm on keto and it's hard to get enough fat without the without the um, without the dairy that's for sure uh, coconut oil there's one two we got that one we got this one chocolate milk organic reduced fat chocolate milk here's a horizon organic low-fat milk And here's a chocolate, same horizons. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five items right here. And then here we've got Love Beats. Uh, we had some refrigerated ones in the produce section, I believe, but uh, uh, there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six items right here with the Love Beats. And then they, they don't have this one, a uh, wild protein mix. Uh, Organic wild protein, plant protein, greens. That's a, uh, this might be a good item. I'll have to check this out. That should be, it says organic, but they don't have it marked with a green sticker. So I don't know if it changed or if they messed up. But um, let's check this out. See what kind of carbs we get. Well, eight carbs, two sugars, so fiber five. So you only have three net carbs, and that's for four tablespoons. Hemp, pea, hemp, protein, moringa. Moringa's great. It's got tons and tons of uh, vitamins and micronutrients, wheatgrass. I'm going to try this. I'm not going to pick it up right this second because I'm, I want to get to the rest of the store. But And then here's the Asaya bowl mix with chia seeds. Look at this, Every, everybody's going organic. That looks good. Oh, let's 
let's see. Uh, that was the chia seeds. And then this is the bowl we just looked at. Here are the hemp hearts. Organic and GMO free. I've got these at home. Used them in some bread, some keto bread. Hemp hearts right there. You know, they had a, a protein, they had a, a super blend mix here that was here. I'm hoping they didn't get rid of that because they had lowered the carbs on it. From I had a half a bag in the fridge and I didn't buy it yet. So I'm, I don't see the chia seeds, but we'll find them if they're here. I'm looking up this aisle. Here we go. Japanese green tea. So I see a couple more green stickers up here. I'm going to make them way. Here we go. Organic lemonade. A lot of sugar in that. I checked it last time I was here. It's just for kicks, I'll show you. Uh, just for kicks. Let's take a look. Carbs, 32. Sugars. 32. Whoa, 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 whoa. Organic, but full of sugar. Apple juice. Let's check it out. Carbs, 29. Sugars, 28. Uh, most juices are not really good for you. Just probably added sugar. And then we got one more in the aisle. So, we'll head up here. I'll catch the end caps on the way out. Honest Kids Organic Juice. Okay, so just for kicks here, we'll check out the carbs. See what how these guys can for eight. Nine, 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 nine carbs, eight on one, sweetened only with fruit juice, you see that? No high fructose corn syrup, excellent source of vitamin C. My kids used to drink this. We don't buy a lot of juice anymore, like I said, unless it's fresh squeezed or um, non-pasteurized or, you know, we don't do the dry stuff much. Oh. Signature organic ancient grains. I'm learning a lot about how we're not really even needing grains, especially if check, uh, these have a lot of sugar added. If you're going to buy your kids cereal, this would be a good way to go, but it's still got tons of sugar. I'll just show you. So, total carb 39 grams, sugars 9, included added sugars 8. Fiber six, so 33 grams. Uh, let's say no. And then this one. Oh, this is the same. So, there we go. Here we go. Pumpkin seed flax. That might be pretty good. Uh, looks good. Total carbs, 37. Same story. 10 grams. Of, it looks good, but watching carbs nope uh -oh. cascading farm organic lemon blueberry granola again probably loaded up with sugar added sugar six but better than the other cereals that's three right there organic can't believe how many we're gonna we're gonna pop a hundred I just know we are. We got to be over close to 90 already. So let's uh, get over here. Oh, I think I'm supposed to get this for my wife, for my kids, peanut butter. You always, always want to get organic. And, uh, and the way to go is this check this out. Just an additive Valencia peanuts. They, I think they're healthier or they're sprayed less. If they're not organic, I think they're sprayed less. But can't remember if they're more nutritious or sprayed less, but that's the peanut of uh, research. It's way to go. But uh, coffee, peanut butter, always get organic. It's heavily sprayed. And by the way, did you know that wheat, even if it's GMO-free, is sprayed? Oftentimes, most most of the time, I've heard. Um, 
to dry it out before they harvest it. So here you are buying GMO free if it's not organic. Uh, pretty scary. Okay. Nutzo crunchy southern nut butter. Okay. Let's check this out. Like Nutella's got canola or vegetable oil. It's very bad for you. Let's see if this does. Never heard of this. Uh, so here we go. Cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, Celtic sea salt. Oh, Celtic sea salt's good. Uh, I don't see anything on here about um, those oils. I guess they don't need any oils like Nutella. Nutella, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that, that chocolate tasting stuff, but I looked at the ingredients or did some research. So we're, that's off limits in our house now, but uh, this looks like this might be good for the kids. It's expensive. Uh, 57 cents an ounce. That's only, what, uh, 10 bucks a pound or something like that? I don't know. So here we go. Honey, raw, honey bear, honey, organic, maple syrup, Ten ninety nine for the jug. That's not bad, I don't believe. And then here we go, fruit spread. Uh, it's a pretty large container. Uh, yeah, that looks like a pretty good deal there. And then here's a, one I bought last time, strawberry spread. I picked both those up. Uh, there you go. Two more on this aisle. That's chips, tortilla chips, organic. Four fifty nine with a huge bag. And then... I think that's the same product right there. And then down here, I see one I'll grab. Here we go. Organic pita chips. Look at that. And I'm just going to take care of this end cap here. We got organic green pea snack crisp. So now let's go back. Finish up. We got these. We got these. We got these. Those are those ancient grains over there. So we we did that aisle. So let's go. Here we go. Spices, cinnamon, organic oregano, no salt seasoning. Uh, I believe that's just a combination of some different uh, different seasonings. 21 organic spices and ingredients from around the world. We believe salt's good for you, but Celtic salt or peak salt. But okay, there you go. Vegetable base, bouillon chicken base, beef base, vinegar, apple cider vinegar. It's not Bragg's Kirkland brand. Look at that. One more item up, two, three more items up here. Tons of organic. I think Austin has more than other cities based on. I, I went in Virginia to a Costco uh, over the holidays and they didn't have nearly as many organic items. Extra virgin olive oil, two liter. And then we use this up here. This We don't buy the refined. That's refined coconut oil. And then we get, we get this one. It's not in a glass jar, but it's certified organic and it's big. I don't know if that's a yeah, it's 84 ounces, so that's a that lasts a long time. And uh, so, and then here's two more items. I'm gonna catch this in cap because we've tried these before. And my son, who's a very picky eater, actually uh, eats these. Look at that, they're on sale, two dollars off. I gotta say, I do recommend. The square ones have a little more uh, flavor, but uh, he likes this one. And then here's some uh, spaghetti. Look at that. Uh, certified organic. And then uh, here's uh, Annie's creamery tomato soup. And then Pumpkin flax granola. I think that's the one we saw down the end cap down down below. Yeah, this is we got this one already. It's on, they've got it out twice. But um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and go down this aisle back now so we can catch these pine nuts. Pretty expensive. I think I bought those ones. They're pretty good. Coconut milk. Organic Thai ch kitchen coconut milk. Huh. Again, I don't know about uh, canned. Probably canned. Uh, yeah, see the can. Yeah. Uh, so we're staying away from the canned stuff if we can. Lemon juice. We bought this before. And then here's organic flour. Doing keto. We're trying to get away from the wheat. Well, for other reasons too, for health. But we're doing coconut, coconut flour and almond flour more. I did read. Do the blanched on the almond because the, the skin could has a chemical in it that might not be so great. Cane sugar, if you're big into sugar, we're, we're getting away from that. Okay, so that's this aisle. Here we go, next aisle. We bought these. We're trying to stay away from canned, but uh, also we like BPA free when you do buy canned. But uh, pretty good price, organic diced tomatoes. Make your own rotel. Uh, Add diced tomatoes for marinara, that kind of thing. And then here's the tomato sauce. They've got some in the jars too. Uh, the more of the spaghetti type or marinara. Here's tomato paste. And then here's the black beans. Bushes, organic baked beans. And refried beans. We did buy these because my son likes the refried beans. And I missed an item over here. If you can get no sugar added ketchup, that's the way to go. But here's here's a good large two pack ketchup. And here's the salsa dry. I like the refrigerated. I showed you earlier better. Again, does that be pasteurized to be uh, safe or to preserve if it's refrigerated and here's the beets the dry ones I bought these before they stayed in the cabinet for a long time here's the roasted kale sea salt that's probably pretty healthy I want to try the jalapeno I want to try this uh, I want to try that for sure and then here's the the dry beets and then seaweed crisp. Excuse me. And one more item over here white balsamic vinegar. There we go. Try not to show people who don't want to be in my videos if I get help with less editing. So here's an uh, end cap. Prana Organic Trail Mix. Oh, it's probably good, but... And then here's dried mangoes. Oh, I think those are really good. I've had, not that brand, but... Uh, this is... Sugar's 8. So you don't have much fiber there. You got 10 grams of carbs per serving, and a serving is a quarter of a cup. And then here's the dried mangoes. Before I got them keto, I love these things. Carbs 26, fibers 1, zero added sugar. This is just all natural sugar, but 19 grams, but you sure are good. Basalmic, uh, bas, bas, basmati rice, a little bit of a tasty bite. There you go. Quinoa. Yeah. I have had that. It's good. Quinoa and brown rice combo. Uh, and then looks like you got the same thing in a packet, uh, like a little small packet. So, let's see what else we've tried down here. Here's the uh, organic Son of Missouri rice. Big bag, 15 bucks. Black bean spaghetti. If you were trying to stay away from wheat or gluten, an organic uh, pasta mix.
on you know, this side. I miss these bone broth, chicken bone broth. Look at that. Organic canned chicken. Chicken stock. And here's the same bone broth that we got. This is from down this aisle. Get finished up here, hopefully. Amy's creamy tomato soup. We got that on a different end cap. Look at them. Got it in two places. Oh, oh, nice. Organic Parmesan. I have not seen this. Cooked, put this on some oysters. Zero carbs. Look at that. I will be picking this up. Have never seen organic Parmesan. Now, this is dry, and it's a powder. But I looked in our supermarket, who's starting to have a lot of. Uh, organic items for the the um, Parmesan that was grated and they didn't have organic. They have a lot of other organics but not that. Uh, a lot of wheat here not necessarily good for you but Annie's mac and cheese another item. Almost done here. Organic pretzel crisp. We bought these plenty of times. Chicken Hip, hip peas, white cheddar, kids probably like that, popcorn, that's three items on this end cap, let's go over here, next to the last aisle here, protein, happy squeeze protein pouches, and on this side, we've got apple juice sauce, and apple sauce, bulk, and then the small container, here we go, mangoes and juice, you look good. And in glass. And then here we go, organic trail mix, a different one. Mango pops. Oh, fruit truffle bites, 16 ounces. I got, I, I got to check this out and see. See, uh, please, please, please. It's organic. Please be low carbs. No, sorry to myself. Total carbs, 24, net 19. Oh, man. Would have been good. But be healthy for the kids, maybe. And dried blueberries. But even there, see, uh, it'll say 14 added sugars. I was expecting to say no added sugars. Look at that. Four, why do you add 14 added sugars? Come on. Come on. And raisins, organic. Raisins, bulk. Uh, Carbs 31, zero added sugars. Fibers too, so 29 grams of sugar, but no added sugar. And then figs, these are good. These are addictive actually. Carbs, zero added sugar, but 21 carbs. And let's see. Organic animal crackers. That's definitely not for a keto, but it's nice for organic. And then here's the applesauce, a different one. Uh, organic applesauce. Here we go. And there's a couple of items I missed here. Sweet potato crackers. For keto, I don't know. But let's see. Now, you got... 18 carbs, 2 fiber, 16 net carbs. Mental thin cakes. Have no idea. Eleven carbs, ten net. But organic. And then we got some crackers here. And 
they're not necessarily car binded, but organic. So that's going to be it for this aisle. So here we go, last aisle. Well, we're not going to go through the old account of drugs, but there's an item right here. This might be the energy, yes, this is the energy bar I was talking about earlier. These are Sunrise. Very similar to the ones that were the Aussie lights. Uh, might be the same company, looks the same. Same package. Energy bars, organic, rolled oats, cranberry, sunflowers. And then let's check out the 17 carbs. But look, three, that's 14 net carbs. But look, this is a lot healthier for your kids than some of the junk. Look at that, chia seeds, cashews, quinoa, coconut, pumpkin seeds, black seeds, sunflower seeds, dried cranberries, rolled oats. Loaded with healthy uh, ingredients. I see one more item, or two, a few more items up here. Let's go get it. Annie's favorite pack. Look at that. And then, sprouted wheat bread. Look at that. Two different ones. And then here's a, uh, here's a, uh, whole grain organic 21. We buy this at the store. This is a Dave's bread. Um, I'm not sure about wheat, and that's a whole different discussion and grains about health, but if you're going to buy it, this organic, multi-grain, sprouted, sprouted is the way to go. And the ancient grains, the grains that we eat now are different. The ancient, you know, they've been hybridized and possibly genetically modified. Probably not for these organic ones, but, but um, we definitely are not eating what the ancient Egyptians ate two or three thousand years ago okay so there you go there's four items right there boom let's go out here i think we got that side that's the go-go squeeze and uh oh my gosh got more to go superfoods oh organic multivitamins look at that organic superfoods protein powder right there let's keep going oh, some block oh no block six organic kids nutritional protein and here's some other organic protein I think it's popular for people I think I need to capture the end cap up here, but before I do, let's go up here and see if we're missing. We got these animal crackers. We got this. We got this. Probably one or two items way up here. We got these. I started getting these end caps, but I, here's those Aussie fights that I thought were the same as those square ones back there, but very similar. So, we got the fight seed. Let's see, we may only be missing that one item up here. Yeah, I think so. Just a roasted seaweed. He's got a Democrat. Yeah, it's a building named after. Signature Jewish right here. Oh, Robert there we go. And then I think we got this, but if not, there's our CV pouches. And then I gotta catch this ink tech right here. And this is your sister brother? Oh. I wish I could have this. Chocolate. Look at this. So we got organic squeezers for the kids. These are good. And then here's oh we got this earlier. So there we go. 
aisle. One, Rudemeyer. Oh no, this, yeah, Rudemeyer. Dark roast, medium roast. Three different coffees right there. And here's another organic item. So from there, then over here, another drinkable yogurt. Here's an Annie's cinnamon roll, Greek yogurt, organic salted butter. It's not grass fed, but it's organic. Silk almond milk is refrigerator. So, I thumbs up on that. Lactose free milk. One more organic item here. I've tried this, I didn't really like it. Banana milk. Actually, there's two more items. Plus, now we got whole milk, regular whole milk. And then over here, blue agave, which is going to kick up your glycemic index just like regular sugar. Uh, I don't know how this started, thinking it was healthier, but uh, there we go. How much you organic? See, you can see all the green. Mm -hmm. Cards. We've already got all these items. I had to go up and capture those coffees I missed. We'll, we'll just go up here and keep the camera off people. I don't, even though it might be legal, I don't like to put people in videos if they didn't ask me to. There we go. Whole cashews. Look at this. Sometimes you'll find the nuts organic just as cheap. It's getting better and better. Okay, here's some almonds. Like I said, try to get blanched. Here we go. Walnuts. Ooh, that's not bad. Right there. Two more organic items on this one. Pistachios. Plus potassio. Potassio fan. Some people are I'm not. These are good. I had these. I've had, they've had them for a while here. Pumpkin seeds. Uh, I put extra peat salt on. I'll get it. Ice cream. Excuse me. Your white light on. Go ahead and try to wrap this up. My battery's going low, so I don't have to change it. Uh, Health Warrior Pumpkin Seed Bar. Look at that. Nine Dark Chocolate Nine Honey. Let's uh, check it out. Twelve carbs, fiber two, so ten carbs. But uh, it might be healthy for the kids. You have to try this. And here we got the normal Z bars. I've never been to Costco when my wife didn't say, get some Z bars. Kids love them. Coconut clusters. Oh, we've had these before keto. It's like BK before keto. Seven sugars, three fibers, so eight net carbs. But for a half a cup, that might not be bad. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this up. We're almost done. We're really rushing through Costco to finish it out. Oh, we've had this before. It's it's so good. Not badly priced. It used to start off like 14 and a half ounces, and now look at it, it's down to 12. To get you hooked. But I didn't understand how they were making the money anyway. Uh, seven carbs, but they add seven sugar. See that? Mm. Too bad, but it sure makes it taste good. They got a teriyaki flavor. Let's see. If that's a smoke flavor. Maybe I had a different one. No, it was that brand though. Okay, so. Almost done. Look at that. A few more green ones. A few more green ones. That one on this side. Almond nugget. We're gonna, we're gonna check this out. Look at this. Not today, but maybe another day. 16 ounces. $11 a pound. Seven carbs. Four 
added sugars. So you got a net of five and four of that is added sugars. But, mmm, looks good. Let's go finish this up. Those look good too, but not organic, so I'm not showing you. Dark chocolate Belgian thins, organic. Go ahead and check out this price. I mean, uh, carbs, 15, fibers 2, net 13, 10 added sugars. But if you're looking for organic treats, organic chocolate. Almost done, booty snacks. Huh. I'm just for kicks. Can go ahead and check this out. Seventeen, no fiber, sugar's eleven. No surprise. Let's see one more. Let's see one more layered fruit bars. They look healthy. Got a nice design. Carb 14, sugars 11. It does the same thing, but no sugar added. So, no fiber. How can you have a fruit bar with no freaking fiber? I don't know about that. I'm not saying it's bad, but I don't know about that. Uh, these are organic, but they don't have a green sticker, so I'm catching them. Catching these. Look at this. Crunchy rice rollers. Not very filling. Carbs 11, fiber none, sugar 3. But again, that's one more organic item that I would have missed. Let's see if I see any more. I don't see. I've got an eye for that little USDA sticker. I don't see anything else. So we're going to call this a wrap, folks. Say goodbye to Costco. Say goodbye to Costco. Thank you, Costco Austin.